we've got our first ever orbital supply drop that we're going to attempt to take out or protect, I guess, right now. Um, so all I remember from these back in the day was that it's a good idea to put some spike walls around it to protect it because once you activate it, it uh, gets, uh, let's see, I got some in my inventory already. Uh, so let's go ahead and put these out here. Hopefully I brought enough. Okay, so looks like the wall's going up. So the thing's been activated. So let's do this. I think I might have missed that there. Okay. Why are you being like that? Okay, that's kind of weird, but I'll, I'll deal with it. There we go. Put a nice little barrier around it. Hopefully this will protect it. So welcome back to Extinction. And I'm going to allow myself a little bit of area here to get in to access the inventory of the thing. Let's put this guy on, uh, let's see, what do we want on him? Let's not put passive. Let's just put neutral on this guy. So this is what we're going to defeat this thing with or defend this thing with. Okay, so I'm going to claim you. There we go. All right, so zero wave. I think then we have to deactivate the shield here. So let's put up another one of these spike walls. So first time I'm ever doing one of these. I've seen it done many years ago, but yeah, let's, know, let's put up another one here. I've got them. Let's put them. We've got metal spikes here, so this should be pretty good. I don't know if I actually need uh, to do this. Let's see. Let's see if uh, we can get up here. Anything attacking the shield right now? Doesn't look like it. I think between uh, the Argentavis and then my little friend uh, Vulture over here. Let's deactivate the, the shield. I think, oh man, I'm taking damage from this thing. Wow. Okay, so let me watch the spikes <laughs> and uh, eat some food up here. Okay, I can pretty much eat everything. Okay, so we got the officer coming in. One thing I did forget to do, okay, I think I have a second, is to change the harvest settings on here. There we go. So we'll disable harvesting. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like the wall killed the Dilophosaurus. So that's nice. I don't even think they took any damage. So there we go. Bears are just chilling out. Uh, I might as well gain up a little bit of stamina here. See what happens next. So is that wave zero? Okay, so we got Tranodon coming in. So basically I've got to... Oh, it's had enough. See you later, dude. No, it's coming back. There we go. Got rid of that guy. There's another one. Okay, got rid of that dude. Level five. Not a big deal. I think this thing's just after the bear, but what the heck. Get rid of this guy. There we go. Bears will be a good distraction for us, perhaps. Anyway, this would be interesting. I haven't done this before, so. Okay, we've got Stego. Might as well try keeping a bear alive a little bit, huh? I think the bear might die to the Stego. I'm not sure what the levels are on either of them. Oh, wow. There we go. Got rid of that guy. Look at these little guys coming in here. Don't hit the thing. Ouch. Doing more damage to myself than anything else. Go away. There we are. So hopefully I don't screw this up and like miss all the loot that's inside of it somehow. Okay. Now we've got some stego going on over here. All right. So I'll attack from this end. There we go. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. This is just a blue one, so it shouldn't be too difficult. All right, I'm going to let those little officers die to the walls. Can I see the... Yeah. Okay, spike walls, 5,000 to 5,000. So the little officers not doing any damage, which makes sense because they're metal. Okay, that guy's out. I think I'm mostly damaging myself here. 
Let's see if there's anybody hanging out down here yet. Take them out. Raptor, he's toast. Okay, I think that was it there. Oh, we do have quite a party going on now. Let's get rid of these. Oop. There we go. I think the guy's just going down in one hit, pretty much. This one's tough. Try to get up without getting hit. There we go. There's just this dude here. There we did it. Sweet. Okay, so now do we have to go up for this thing? And eject items. There we go. Items ejected. Cryopods. Haha. <laughs> what? Okay, I can't move now. Oh, shoot. What do I have here? Rocks. What the heck do I want rocks for? Don't want rocks. Uh, let's grab all this stuff. And, oh, we got some curries and stuff. What else can I drop here? Um, let's drop stone foundations for a minute. That'll lighten up the load. A little, at least. Oh, my gosh. Come on and pick up everything. Whoa. Okay. So what else do I drop here? Okay, I don't need that. Um, let's see. Drop. Oh, I got way too many. Okay. Can I move yet? Nope. And that and that. That should make me move probably. Okay. Here we go. Let's grab this glowing stuff here. I guess we'll grab that. And let's see what I can get away with. Okay, so let's... Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Oh, man, lots of cool stuff. I can't believe all the crap we got. Okay. And the crap we don't need. Definitely don't need all that stuff. Okay, so let's see what we've got here that I dropped that might be useful, like these spike walls. Okay, let's put spike walls over here. Spike walls, please. There we go. So we're back at base. We're going to get our kibble farm going. So a couple things that we're going to need right away are eggs. We're going to need a lot of eggs, of course. And S Plus is going to help us out by collecting stuff. So I think we got the collector going on here. Uh, let's see, we need 125 cementing paste. I hope we got enough. We do have enough for that. We're going to need an industrial cooker um, eventually, but let's kind of keep on track here. So I need to put that thing in my inventory, don't I? There we go. And, uh, I think we'll just probably put this guy over here by our couple extra cabinets and I think he'll be okay. Now that guy runs on, uh, what does he run on? Propellant. So we're going to need to craft up some of that stuff. Um, which we can do over here. We need some cactus sap and some sulfur. Let's make uh, five of those. It doesn't use up all that much, especially on single player. So let's get that. Uh, I'll just wait for one more here so we can turn it on. There we go. And we'll move the rest of them over in a little bit here. But the other thing this guy's going to do is collect poop and move it into our beetle so that we can get some fertilizer. There we go. So let's uh, activate this guy. Let's go into our collection options. So we wanna collect, uh, I think medium to massive poop. There's gonna be no massive to collect around here. But anyway, we want eggs that are sterile and uh, echidna paste, echidna, not echidna, echidneous paste. I forget how to say that, but it's our snails. Uh, pearls, owls, we don't have anything to do that at the at the moment. And then all this stuff here. So, done. So that should start collecting. Doesn't start collecting absolutely immediately. So I've been picking up a couple of snails when I find them around here. And then, see, they drop paste. And it should pick up even the paste from the wild snails. Uh, yep, so there we've already collected two of those. So that's kind of... Uh, handy nice thing about those wild snails is that they don't uh, take sweet veggie cakes uh, you know that's the only thing that they eat so and i often forget to feed them which is a problem so okay so our egg situation is underway we've got a lot more taming to do because we only got a handful of guys that are laying eggs here mostly these argentavises i guess but uh yeah 
So what else are we going to need over here? I think probably what I want to get next is a preserving bin. So let's go ahead and craft up one of those guys. We'll probably do two eventually, but I want to get one right now because I got to start making some various jerky. So some cooked meat jerky and uh, let's see, where's a good place for this thing? kind of just want it off to the side. I'm wondering, hmm... Maybe I should just put it here. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Uh, I'm going to put it. I'm just going to put it back here for a minute, kind of out of the way. I think we're going to relocate this thing at some point, which reminds me, uh, an industrial grill is what I want to get into also. So I'm over here. I need some spark powder to run the thing, and I'm going to need some oil as well. So did I throw any oil in here? I did not. Should have some oil in the fabricator. So there we go. Let's grab that. So that should be good there. And then I have a little bit of brine meat and then put some cooked meat in there and get that process underway. So that should do that. Okay, so we are crafting up that stuff. So very good. Um, so I'm wondering what I want to do next as far as... Uh, like an S plus hatchery, which is going to pick up fertilized eggs. We're going to need that. Um, but that's kind of down the road for when we're breeding. So our next most important thing is going to be actually growing crops. So let's grab this bird over here, see where our nearest water is. So I think this is our nearest water. Now, do I just want to grow stuff right here and have a real short irrigation uh, situation, or do I want to start um, putting them up here? I'm trying to think of just how it would look. I think I'm going to put it actually up here. Where is any other water coming in? Um, I don't need it real close by, but it would be kind of nice to have a very very close so I don't have to run too much of the uh, irrigation pipes the stone ones don't really cost much at anything of you know at all but it's still kind of a pain to run that much uh, irrigation pipe I'm trying to think it would be kind of nice to have like a greenhouse area too maybe like out here we could have like a little the greenhouse could kind of start and like go off this way we've got this little clear thing here trying to think of some architecturally that might be nice so hmm i think i'm gonna put it out here make it kind of a, just a little archway kind of a thing going on so let's get that underway i i haven't seen it rain out here so that's kind of an issue let's put this guy over here and kind of keep him out of the way i'm gonna move you as well it's getting a little crowded right where i'm working so let's put you over here there we go we should be having some eggs being produced pretty soon oh good we've got a level or not a level but a female pteranodon i'm not sure what we're going to need as far as eggs for kibble so we just got a bunch of uh, stone foundations from our orbital drop what did i do with those okay so here's our stone foundations uh, I got 34, so that's enough, or not enough, but that is a lot actually. So I think I'm going to do it uh, right out here, as a matter of fact. Okay, it takes a lot of boring placement to try to get this stuff in line. So I think I got it figured out here. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't want to walk off the edge here. So where did everything go? There we go. There we are. So that should work. I'm going to try to get... Oh, it doesn't go that way. Okay. That's... Oh, there we go. So that's not going to work. Ah, that's unfortunate. So it's not going to line up as well as I would like it to here. But it's going to line up pretty good. So we'll make this little causeway here. If you want to call it a causeway, I don't think that's quite the right term. But we're gonna put, whoops, put this all this stuff down. It's looking pretty good. We got two left, so let's go with this for now. Okay, so I replaced the regular um, foundations with S plus ones, so I could put these crop plots in here, and then that they'll snap in place, and so they'll look pretty good because I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to get this stuff. Um, 
in here just perfectly. So we're going to have to run water over here, I think, before we bother um, getting these plants growing. So next up, we're going to need to craft up a ton of pipes. Not um, we're going to need a couple of fountain heads or we need a couple of these guys and for sure we're going to need which one are we got here verticals we're going to need let's do uh probably going to need at least 20 verticals we got a couple of our ta our taps ready to roll um we're going to need maybe one of these two of these and then one of those for sure and we've got inclined. We don't really need inclined. We need straight pipes, and we're going to need a bunch of those. I think I'm just going to go ahead and craft all those. I've got a few of these things already, so we're going to uh, keep those. Okay, so our stuff is irrigated. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some fertilizer. So we've been storing up our fertilizer here. Let's just grab all of this fertilizer that we've got. Next, we're going to get our seeds and get those underway. And I'm thirsty. Let's grab some drinkies. And, okay, so I've got seeds stored in here. And we'll get that going. So let's do this and this and this. So there's four different kinds of vegetables, and we're going to grow them. Let's see. So let's do... Let's just do four of those guys, and then we're going to start with, I think, rock carrot. Uh, let's see. We'll go rock carrot. There we go. So that should start up in a second, and then we'll get these going down the line here. Rock carrot. And then let's go to, uh, let's go to long grass. Let's do that. And long grass, where are we here? There we go. Do one of those. So we should have, yep, we got some stuff here. Very good. So we'll have two of each then. Where's long grass? There we go. Uh, we'll have two of each. So we should start producing pretty, pretty quickly here. And uh, we'll get this underway. Okay, so let's see what progress we've made here. Let's see what this guy is up to here. What have you done for us? You've collected a bunch of poop. You're actually distributing this poop into the... Uh, dung beetle and you've already collected um, 35 um, paste over here from our snails and we've collected uh, five oil from the dung beetle which is pretty cool uh, move those guys around no big deal there and then our plants are starting to grow um, over this way which is fantastic so i think that's probably going to do it for today we made a bunch of progress we got some cool stuff from that orbital supply drop hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you have please subscribe if you're brand new to this series you'll find a playlist uh, starting from episode one on extinction here which you can check out you can also check out some of the older series in this uh, playthrough of the story arcs so including the island and scorched earth down there in the description so thank you guys for watching